Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. So today we're going to talk about um, ash trees. I think it's called di- ash dieback disease or something it's called. There's a, there's a fungus or a disease on the trees and uh, farmers have planted them all over the country and now they're looking for compensation because the trees, the forests are of no uh, financial value. Uh, did they plant ash trees like where you often see where land is bad and they plant trees, but mostly the fir trees. So there could be some ash trees among them as well. Uh, so it's it's um, farmers are being pressurised by this government in all sorts of ways, uh, especially by the Green Party that's a member of this government. And funny enough, any time they're in a government, problems arise for citizens. Uh, so um, farmers have enough expense and they're producing food because if they weren't producing food, we would starve. Mm-hmm. They're producing food uh, that enable us to live and and have uh, good good food because this is an agricultural country, one of the best in the, in the world as regards the greenery. Uh, so um, the business of ice trees, uh, this is a new phenomenon. And uh, it's, uh, there was a thing called Dutch elm disease. Is that what it is? Because in Holland, being a flat country, they produce a lot of uh, material and uh, by way of flowers and this, that and the other. And diseases come from over, over production of those items in a country that's not properly drained. It's a very flat country. The highest, the highest hill is, is only 312 feet from the ground. It's all dykes that they have. So um, this disease with the ash trees, um, it should be um, part of the policy of of, the, of this government. Not to expect people to do all these things at their own expense. They have enough expenses. Uh, farmers have nothing but expenses and have to keep records for this, that and the other. They can't, uh, they can't blow their nose without having to record it somewhere. Uh, so they nearly have to have somebody to keep records of everything, whatever they have. Now, uh, so this question of expecting farmers to, to do all this, they haven't got the equipment to do it. That means they have to hire in people to do it, and they don't come cheap. So um, I think they n- need to rethink that and um, give some aid for this to happen, or else employ their own people. They have enough people in various counties, in the county councils and all the rest of it, that appear to be, uh, seems to take about 10 people to do nothing. Uh, they were digging the road uh, out from where I live near Oldcastle, and there was uh, traffic lights and a pretty good bit. And all they were doing was digging di- di- kind of uh, for, for water to win off the road into the, into a field, and they had they had about a mile or more of 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 uh, um, la- um, barriers, so that you had to wait for it to get going, and you could be waiting for ten minutes, mm-hmm. and then uh, all that kind of thing. So it, it, all that amount of people to do something that I think only a couple of men could do, mm-hmm. the, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Um, this is what they're at. And uh, so my opinion is that they've enough staff themselves uh, to be able to mount, uh, to deal with the ash trees wherever they are, because um, they're all over the country. And do you, But do you think the farmers should be compensated? Well, I think so, because um, when they get rid of those, what, what, what have they got left in, in by way of... Uh, they've, they've done away with hedges, and so therefore boards... Are becoming scarce in in these places. So, uh, nests. I see hedges down to about this height. I don't know what's this obsession with um, cutting them down. Yeah. Cutting them down like that. They they perform. They 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 provide a, a a great service with with, with in, in nature. Uh, but uh, but where is nature going to be? The, we 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 don't have the 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 um, what we used to have the corn creek and the, and all these ones that we used to hear because of what they done to the land. Uh, so you want to be very careful what you do. And the EU, I think, inflicted all this cardiology on the country. Mm-hmm. So what would they know about farming? They don't have farms maybe where they come from and know nothing about it. Some people would argue, especially city folk who don't understand the country people. Some people would argue that, um, well, the farmer took a gamble. It, it was a business, and 
you know, it's it's like it's like if a farmer makes hay, and do you know you have the phrase "make hay while the sun shines," and if the sun doesn't shine, the farmer loses his crop. He's running a business, okay? Now a very important business. A very important business. But some people would argue that with the disease of the trees, that the farmer took a gamble. It was a business, and that he took his gamble and it didn't work out. So, should he really be compensated in that case? Well, you see, they're a stray in the head with that attitude. It means that they don't understand uh, the farmers uh, working in all weathers. Uh, in this country, two thirds of the year is supposed to be rain. So it's not a very pleasant occupation and to regard it as a business. There's not too many of these people that have that view are out in all weathers. So you were uh, saying that you're suggesting that it's more of a vocation? Correct. It's, it's, it's a vocation and it's... it's it's, it's a very hard one. A vocation that's part of our heritage, probably. Correct. Because there was a time when they were taken off the land and was given to farmers. You see... Planters. I, I could see an argument for, for, for them being compensated in one area, and that is that, first of all, it was a government scheme, okay, that the government said, okay, if you plant the trees there, we're going to give you so much money after 20 years, 30 years, right? Where I see the, see the government failing is the government failed to monitor the disease of the trees. They failed to, mor- to monitor it with their Euro- European counterparts, counterparts, right? And so they could have curtailed the disease if they monitored it properly. Correct. So there's where the governments fail. And in that case, the, the farmers should be compensated. Well, this is the part of agriculture. And they should be be held accountable if that's been the case that they that they gave uh, grants for these items to be planted and all the rest of it now uh, this uh, do, do, uh, this uh, disease and when did this uh, go, uh, d- disease occur? Is it a few years ago or is it more recent or what? And what's the other European governments or the other European countries doing that have these trees, ice trees? What are they doing and how are they compensated? Because this is what we, we should know. And, uh, and I can assure you that farmers in France would not be, uh, would, 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 would not be uh, doing what, what this crowd here wants farmers to do here. Uh, there'd, be, there'd, be, there'd be crowds on the streets objecting. Mm-hmm. Uh, the French can't impose things like that on, on citizens that are normally very quiet and, and uh, um, you think there was a curfew on because they don't be out at night time or the evening. Uh, so, uh, but when, when they're interfered with like that, they're out. Mm-hmm. And uh, they've been out there objecting to this ma- 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 Macron, uh, ma- Macaroni, the president, uh, trying to... Uh, um, put the um, retirement age up. Uh, they return, I think, at fifty eight or something like that, maybe sixty. And I don't want to. They want to have some bit of time uh, to be able to enjoy life and not be walking out of the drop. You see where I'm coming from. Uh, so uh, that's France, and uh, France is a very successful country. I've been in it umpteen times, <coughs> and it's a joy to be in because there's a order and respect for individuals, and they want to practice that here too. They're in the EU and do what the EU does. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much, Oliver.